In this episode of Artisan Advice, I'll share some tips that I picked up over the years that will help you improve your videos. Let's get right into it with the first tip and that's to hold and repeat your shots. Anytime I'm shooting a video, whether it's showing something on screen or even talking to the camera, I always make sure to hold that shot a little bit longer than what might feel intuitive. And then I repeat that same clip again, just in case I messed up the first time and I didn't catch it. Using this hold and repeat method will give you more flexibility when you're editing your videos, and it can often save you time from having to go back out and reshoot a clip. To give you an idea of what this looks like in practice, here I am shooting a little product clip showing off the Sony FX3. The clip is going to be a slow push in shot. I'll start the recording, holding that starting frame for a couple of seconds. Then I make the motion that I wanna make for the clip. I'll hold on to that ending shot, and then I'll do the same thing over again from the beginning. Sometimes I'll do this a few extra times if it's a particularly difficult shot just to be safe. The next tip is all about B-roll. If you're not familiar with what that is, B-roll is an alternative angle or clip that you can use to intercut with your main footage. In the case of this video you're watching right now, the main footage is of me here in the studio talking to you, and the B-roll shots are all of the cutaways, like this one here, that are sprinkled throughout the video. Anytime you're shooting a video, you'll wanna come up with creative ideas for alternative angles or shots that you could take to help your video's pacing. Ideally, you'll wanna have something different visually every four to six seconds on the screen. At times, that could be a separate camera angle or maybe a, a little clip that shows whatever it is that you're talking about in the video. Make sure that you capture as much B-roll as possible. And even if you don't use all of the clips for that specific video, I'd recommend building a catalog of footage and saving them in a folder for later use. The next piece of advice kind of goes along with the first two, but you wanna make sure that you're shooting tight, middle, and wide angle shots whenever possible. Let's say you're doing a travel film and you're talking about this interesting pond that you found. It might be natural to capture a wide angle shot to establish where you are and what you're talking about, but it's also a good idea to capture a middle ground shot that maybe cuts into the scene a little bit closer and then potentially capturing some close up details around the area so that you can have a good variety of shots to switch to every four to six seconds. If you implement these tips in your upcoming video shoots, I promise it'll save you time and make your videos much more enjoyable to watch. If you have any video tips that you found helpful, I invite you to share them in the comment section so that we can help out our entire community. While you're there, consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel as we have new videos releasing here all the time. If you wanna learn some more video tips or maybe get some inspiration for your next video project, check out one of the videos that you see here on the screen. See you next time.